Self-driving cars are stealing the show at this year's IAA. The buzzwords are new mobility. An entire pavilion at the trade fair is devoted to visions of mobility in a fully connected society. From public transport to bicycles, everything in it will be smartphone enabled. Digital technology is, of course, also revolutionizing the car industry. The new BMW limousine can look for a parking spot by itself. Daimler is unveiling an autonomous concept car. Display screens for passengers' individual use are mounted in the doors. These days, customers want to be networked, even in their cars. People spend a lot of time in their vehicles these days, and they want full access to information, including information relevant to the journey. Google has been experimenting with its driverless car for years. For the time being, it's still on the test phase. Apple is also developing an iCar. So where does all this leave old school car makers? We are not worried at all. We respect the achievements of these companies, but we're also very confident about our own products. The greater the competition, the more it raises our game. It's exactly what spurs the market economy. So basically, bring them on. There's a lot of hype surrounding the self-driving car. Visitors in Frankfurt can give it a test drive and try out what it feels like to put their trust in the onboard computer. The system braked. I did nothing. What you mainly feel is a sense of relief because you realize that you might possibly not have reacted as well. So far, car makers have left it up to the driver to decide whether they themselves want to steer or if they want to hit a button so that the computer takes over. The second option is supposedly safer. I'm worried where this all might lead. In the future, there might be companies or even governments who say, if you don't hit the button, you don't drive. Or insurance companies might raise premiums if you're not driving an autonomous car. Politicians in Germany are keen to pave the way for fully autonomous vehicles. But a number of issues have yet to be resolved. For example, a question of how to guard against hacker attacks and data abuse. If I have a Google phone and stop at an autobahn service station, Google will know where I am. You would be able to say where 10 motorists were, link the sensors of the respective manufacturers, connected cars, and then you'd have the world's best live weather map. The startup RE2U guarantees Daimler a secure connection. A connected car collects technical data about fuel consumption and brake wear. Secure cloud-based servers protect against unauthorized access. But many experts remain skeptical. I don't want a computer to drive my car. I'm not keen on humans handing over control to machines. Machines are very rational. Machines are machines. However helpful and friendly they can be, even computers can be moody. Perhaps we shouldn't put them in charge too often. But manufacturers promise that one day, computer-driven cars will help improve road safety.